Hi students, welcome to RP class. Let's see the problem. A can do a piece of work in X days and B can do a piece of work in X plus 16 days. If both working together can do it in 15 days. Calculate X value. This is a time and work problem. So we know the concept so easy. First we have to form the quadratic equation, right? So that first to read the question, A can do the piece of work in X days. So A time they given. A can do a work in how many days? X days. So that is a time. Therefore, A is one day work. Here, time they given. Time is X day. Therefore, A is one day work is 1 by X. This is the concept. That means, time and to work are inversely proportional. We have to write the reciprocal. Time is X means work is 1 by X. Therefore, same like, so B is, B is one day work. So, B, time is X plus 16 days. Therefore, work is 1 by X plus 16. So, 1 by X plus 16 is a B work, one day work and A is one day work is 1 by X. Now, according to the question, both work together can do a work in 15 days. So, both together time 15 days. So, both together work is 1 by 15. So, according to the question, according to question, how to form an equation? Both work together. So, this is A is 1 day work. So, 1 by X plus B is 1 day work. 1 by X plus 16 equal to both work together. Time is 15 days. Therefore, together work is 1 by 15. Time and work are inversely proportional. We have to write a reciprocal. This is the concept. Once you know this, then you can do cross multiplication. We will get the quadratic equation. So, how to do? You have to take the LCM, right? So, here x plus 16 plus x, the whole divided by here x into x plus 16, x into x plus 16 is LCM equal to 1 by 15. Then we have to here x plus x 2x plus 16 divided by x into x x square plus 16x equal to 1 by 15. We have to do cross multiplication. So I will get 15 into 2x plus 16 equal to 1 into x square plus 16x. So I will get x square plus 16x. Now I'm going to multiply the 15 inside. 15 into 2, I will get 30x plus 15 into 16, 240 equal to x square plus 16x. Now I'm taking everything one side. I'm taking this here. So I will get x square plus 16x. I'm taking 30x this side. I will get minus 30x. 240 I'm taking this side. I will get minus 240 equal to 0. So now x square 16x minus 30x equal to minus 14x minus 240 equal to 0. We got the quadratic equation. We have to do the splitting the middle term. Suppose if you feel difficult to find the factor, you can go for the formula method also. Now I am going to do the splitting the middle term. Here product term is minus 240 and the addition term is minus 14. What are the two numbers? 24, 10. 24 into 10, 240. But I need minus 240. And the addition term is minus. So, greater number is minus. Minus 24 plus 10. Uh, sorry, minus 24 into 10 minus 240. Minus 24 plus 10 minus 14. Now, I have to going to split the middle term. Minus 24x plus 10x minus 240 equal to 0. So, here I am going to take x outside. I will get x minus 24. So, here x minus 24 means here also x minus 24 only. But here 10x is there. Here x is there. So, I have to take a 10 is outside. So, 10 into x is 10x. 10 into minus 24 minus 240. Now, which is the common? x minus 24 is common. I am going to take outside. I will get x plus 10 which is equal to 0. So, x minus 24 equal to 0 or x plus 10 equal to 0. I will get x equal to plus 24 or x equal to minus 10. I got the two value. What is x? x is a day. Day is not a negative value. Therefore, we should not take a negative value. We have to take a, a positive value. 24. Therefore, 
What is the x value? Now for x equal to 24. Thank you.